hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is sherry and my channel is blue gemini and yeah today we're eating homemade burritos <clears throat> so you guys today we're eating some homemade burritos i made them myself Ooh, they greasy y'all so but they're ground beef let me see, can we get it? Mm -hmm, kinda. So I got ground beef. I got some bell peppers, the red, yellow, and green ones. I have I made it into like a quesadilla, like putting the cheese in between two um skins. I got a lot of lettuce, some sour cream, I have some of the aioli sauce, and then cheese. So oh, it's greasy. Okay. Ugh. that's the only thing I don't like about like burritos and tacos and stuff when you make it at home or I should probably just start draining the grease huh? <laughs> Ugh. I just thought about that now and then <sighs> y'all don't judge me I got me some Simply Lemonade I'm just gonna drink it out of the container because why waste a cup when I can just drink it out of the container <laughs> Call it ghetto, whatever. It is what it is. Mm. I need some baby oh. wipes. <laughs> Cover up. And I just got some. I never had the purple one. Some sweet, spicy, sweet chili. Y'all, this this whole um. This whole, um, oh, I should have put it here. Y'all, okay, we just gonna leave it there. Y'all saw me open it. <laughs> this whole mug bang was rushed. Mmm. Spicy sweet chili. It kind of tastes like, um, the bur bur bear day. But yeah, so this whole thing was literally rushed from beginning to end like y'all know i've been on baby duty mm. but y'all know i've been on baby duty so this is literally the first time in the last three days that the girls have had a nap <laughs> like in the daytime and while I'm at home they've been falling asleep in the car but this is the first time that they both fell asleep at the same time like I put Eris to sleep she was already tired so when she's tired she'll come and lay on me so she fell asleep and then Jessa my niece she was crying, being fussy, so I just held her for a little bit, and she knocked out. So I was like, oh my god, they're both asleep. This is this is literally the first time since I've had my niece that at home, I'm free. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm free for a little bit. I'm off the clock right now. So I was like, let me hurry up and do a video. I just did a video for like my my um response to the whole Tillam Wall and Sin City and genuinely Nisha stuff. And that was hell. <laughs> so I haven't been able to um I haven't been able to even edit it yet. And I made it like two hours ago and I have not been able to sit down and edit it. So I'm gonna do that. And then I have another video that I've been waiting to upload that I haven't been able to edit yet. Because we were gone every day, not because um I have the kids, but just because we were gone. Oh, I thought I heard her. <laughs> so. This video. Will most likely get put out. Tomorrow. Because I'm going to upload. My reaction video. And then. 
my other mukbang that I have sitting. So I'm just trying to have videos done whenever I can. Just so that I don't, I don't want to go days without being able to post. I'm like debating. I don't. I, I warmed up the burrito once I put everything together, not realizing I put sour cream in it. So it's like it looks kind of weird because it was warmed up. But it should be fine. But I'm trying to get videos out daily. And at least have some videos for the archive, you know, for, for if there's a day that I can't do a video. I'm going to squeeze this sour cream out because I don't like the way that's looking right there. And then my phone should come to tomorrow or the next day. So I'll be able to literally record whenever I want to, whenever I can, however long I need to. Because when I go to Vegas, y'all, I want to like vlog little stuff, like maybe like the get ready process or something for the wedding. Because me and my older sister, we're, we're sharing a room. My other two sisters are going to go, but they, um, they got their own rooms because they're taking their, um, their little boyfriends and stuff. So I don't even think they're at the same hotel as us though. I'm not even sure. So, me and my sister, Simply Sharon, go check her out if y'all haven't. But, we were saying we want to vlog and stuff and, you know, make some content while we're in Vegas. So, we're going to try and do that. But, if we're not able to, well, if I'm not able to, her kids are older, so, and then her man's going to be there too, so he can handle her youngest. With me... Since my other sister just had surgery, she can't lift up my niece. So I told her pretty much if she um, isn't up to doing anything out there besides the wedding, I'll chill in the hotel with her. Like, I don't mind. I'm not going to go, go, you know, go having fun and stuff. And then she's just stuck in the hotel. And then I, I, I'd, I'd rather her go out of everybody. <laughs> Me and her, we always do things with the kids. So my other sister will too, but my older sister is just more like... How do I put it? We kind of think more alike. Like there's things that my uh, my younger sister may not think it's fun or she, she wants to do it with her man or something like that or something like that. So I'd rather my older sister be the one with me to do stuff with the kids. Mm, it's falling apart. But I told her, if she's not up to doing stuff, like walking around and stuff, because, I mean, she, she'll be good as far as sitting still and stuff. But I just feel like when you have any kind of incision or anything, stitches or anything, moving around a lot gets your blood flowing. And it just seems like it will make it, like, pump, like, hurt. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just told her I don't mind chilling in the hotel. I went to the store yesterday. I wish I had some taco sauce. But I went to the store yesterday. And uh, I got some stuff for the babies to be in the room. Like games and puzzles and like bubble machines, balls. Like just stuff for them to play with. She's ordering these um, foam blocks that I keep telling her about. So they'll, they'll be content. So... I may try and record some, but since my sister's going to kind of be out of commission as far as holding any baby or, you know, jumping up to keep an eye on a kid or whatever, it'll be on me. So, I don't know. But I do want to record some of the wedding. I'm like my little brother and just, you know, if they let us record, I don't know. And then my other little sister wants to do a video. She tried to put me out of my own video, y'all. 
me and Simply Sharon were talking about already that we were going to record and stuff. Ooh, my hair looks like, I feel like Easy e right now. <laughs> like with a jerk on the back, even though it's not. But me and Simply Sharon, we were already saying once we knew about Vegas. I don't really care for this, but nobody put no cold waters in the refrigerator. So there weren't any. I hate that. Like when you expect to go get some water because you see you have cases and cases there. So you would think somebody, whoever took the last cold one, would refill it. But apparently I'm the only one in the house that would do it. So there were no waters. That's what I really wanted because this stuff is too sweet. But anyways... My little sister tried to put me out of my own video. Me and, me and my other sister, Simply Sharon, we've been saying that we're going to record once we go out there. Oh, this one's neater. Y'all might see it better. Mm. But we've been saying that we're going to record since we decided we're going to go out there. And I'm just trying this, y'all. And um, so... My little sister gonna come telling me the other day, am I recording with her and my little little sister is Shaquoya. So she Shaquoya came to me asking me if I was recording with her and Sharon. And I was like, girl, <laughs> that's our video. <laughs> you mean are you recording with us? <laughs> I told her to get the hot toe, because me and Sharon are doing the hot toe challenge next, y'all. I'm so nervous. Mm, this is some crunch. But me and Simply Sharon, go check her out if you haven't. <laughs> but she always want me to plug her. But me and her were challenged to do the hot toe. The hottest, um, the, the Reaper tone. Now, y'all, I'm so nervous because I'm like, I know what happened with the chip. Like, I pretty much died and came back. Like, <laughs> so I don't know how that's going to go. In my mind, I'm like, okay, if I'm just sucking on a sucker versus chewing on a chip, it might not last as long, I hope. I don't know, <laughs> but I was caught out. I can't, even if I know I may lose, I just have to try it when I'm challenged. I'm too competitive to be like, oh no, I can't do that. I'm going to at least try it, y'all. Maybe, maybe, maybe my body just didn't cooperate with that, um, with the, with the chip. So maybe the sucker is different, but I told Shakoya. <laughs> I told her to order the chip and she should do the chip challenge with us. I mean, not the chip, the toe, the toe challenge with us and we can do it in Vegas. So I got to find out if she ordered it. If she didn't order it, then me and Sean are trying to do it before we leave for Vegas. It just kind of depends because she's leaving for Vegas on Tuesday. We're leaving on Wednesday. Me and my sister and my dad are leaving Wednesday. Sharon and Shaquoya are leaving Tuesday. So... I don't know if she's going to still be trying to get stuff together. I don't know if she's going to still be trying to get stuff together. She strags with, with like <laughs> stuff. So I'm going to find out today if Shaquoya got the chip yet and if Sharon wants to do it in Vegas. <laughs> Our names are like tongue, tongue twisters. Every time I talk about my sisters, I have to like sit there and think about which one I'm talking about because we're all she's like S H E, Shika, Sherry, Sharon, Shakoya. <laughs> so it's like you really have to sit there and think about like, okay, which one am I trying to say? I remember I had a cousin and she would always be like, Shika, Sherry, Sharon, Shakoya. <laughs> I want to get this challenge over with, though. <laughs> and move on to another one. 
Y'all, the next challenge that somebody has for us, can it not be one that burns our insides? Like, dang. Y'all didn't, y'all must not have really paid attention to the sweat and the panting and the heavy breathing that went on with that chip challenge for me, for somebody to want us to do the toe. <laughs> I see my pain is funny. But we gonna do it. We gonna do it. I'm gonna go into it with confidence this time. I'm so full. It's only like, I think it's like five or six o'clock right now. I was not ready to eat right now. <laughs> like I was hungry, but I kind of like eating either right after I take my shower and then eating and relaxing because I know I get, I get like tired after I eat or I like to eat. And then know I'm about to take my shower right after or whatever. I usually don't eat this early. Like, they haven't even eaten yet. They've been snacking all day, so y'all, they're not sitting there starving while I'm eating. But they've been snacking and they're not hungry right now. But I just made, um, I made some chicken, some fried chicken. And then I'm going to make some mashed, not mashed potatoes, um, macaroni and cheese with it. And then probably some french fries. That's like my go-to. I stock up on fries because I can put that with anything. But that's going to be their dinner. And then my um, my niece and my nephew, they're pescatarians. So they don't eat meat. Never have. So they'll probably eat. I have some like um, fake chicken, chicken sandwiches. <laughs> I think like soy or something like that. Like, ugh. And so they'll probably eat that and french fries. Normally when I have them, I just order a cheese pizza and call it a day because that's what I know they all will eat no matter what. But I love you hate buying fast food when I have a, an entire refrigerator stuffed with food. Like, we've been eating out probably the last, that's starting to taste gross now. It's like I got a whiff of the to the seasoning. But we've been eating fast food, like, for the last three, four days, like, since I went to the mall with my sister, just because we were out. We were out at my mom's house. We went to my mom's house, and then we were out at Walmart. And then before then, we were out at Dee Dee's. So we were just out. And I just had the girls, the babies. I didn't have my older ones. Because they were at my mom still. So it's just so much easier to just grab some fast food and call it a day. Because no point in me cooking a whole meal. For one, when I have to cook two separate meals. for One for my niece who's vegetarian or pescatarian. And then one for my daughter. So it's kind of was pointless. And then... I cook dinner for my boyfriend for when he gets off of work, but it was just kind of pointless when it would just be him eating it pretty much. My daughter would have probably ate something simple, my youngest. I wasn't really craving like home cooked. So it just wasn't no point. It just, it just wasn't no point of it. So... I'm trying to like, like kind of pause the fast food, especially if we go to Vegas. Mm, you guys, okay. Now, what is a really good restaurant in Vegas? Like, I want to try, I just, I don't know, I don't know like what they have out there, but I know that they have a lot of like famous people's restaurants. Um, when I went years ago, I went to, um, is it Guy Guy Fieri, Guy Ferrari, or whatever his name is, that Food Network guy? I went to his restaurant, and it was, I don't remember it being like, oh my God, good, but it sold interesting foods. Like, they had like a macaroni and cheese hamburger. It was like interesting stuff. 
but I didn't I don't eat all that like I don't, I don't do mac and cheese and I definitely am not gonna do it in a, in a hamburger or in, in buns or nothing like that I don't even remember what I had got I just remember they had interesting food so what is a good restaurant I'll, I'll google it and everything and look at the menu because I'm super picky so I don't care for like real fine dining cuisine and all that stuff I don't care for meat at a restaurant like steaks and all that stuff. I don't eat steak. I eat carne asada, but I don't eat steak like the piece of meat steak. I don't eat that. And then um, I'm not going to eat fish and stuff like that at a restaurant. I don't know why. I just, I'm not a fan of it like that. I'm, I'm a fan of fish and meats, but not at a restaurant for some reason. So when I go to a restaurant, I usually... We'll do like the basics, a hamburger. And even then a lot of like nice restaurants don't make normal hamburgers. I remember I went to one in Hollywood and it was so expensive y'all. And I went with my friend and her brother and I just remember the hamburger had nothing on it. It was literally just ketchup. Like I remember I was just like, it just don't even look good. I ate it because I'm not going to be rude if somebody bought me food and I eat it. So I choked it down. But I just remember it had no lettuce. It had no pickles. It had no onions. It was just this really thick piece of meat in a bun. And I'm not a fan of thick ground beef. But what is... I'm not liking how this sour cream looking in some of these spots. I think it's just because I warmed it up. Like, can sour cream go bad if you warm it up? I hope not. If it did, it's too late. <laughs> but what is, I need a good restaurant because I told my sister, worst case, I'm perfectly fine with us chilling at the hotel and just ordering food from somewhere. But I want some food that I cannot get in California. Like something super good. And I'm a I'm a chicken strips. Maybe chicken sandwich if it's fried, hamburger, french fries, chili fries, type of, like, junk foody kind of food. So if y'all know a good place, let me know. Leave it in the comment section, and I'm going to look it up. Because I hate reading reviews from, like, people on Google and stuff. I can't trust them. I could trust you guys. <laughs> I don't I don't trust them. Because I don't know them. They don't know me. They don't know what I may and may not like. They're just talking off of their personal experience. But I feel like y'all will keep it real. Because I found out apparently the Grand Canyon is like a killer place. I'm not going no more. <laughs> Somebody told me that people get lost there. Like I really think I was just picturing a whole nother situation. I was literally picturing like the cliffs and like people being at the top of the cliffs, but it being flat and it having like gates following the whole <laughs> cliff. Like this is what I was picturing in my head. So I was like, it seems safe. Like they're going to make sure you don't just drop off. But apparently people get lost. And they said, like, bring survival stuff? Like, y'all, what? I'm not trying to go on no vacation and not come back. And then especially now, with my sister being out of commission, I'm not about to handle two toddlers who like to run wild on no cliff. So that, that one's out of the out of the question. Now we just gonna keep that one in the books and just <laughs> look at it, look at pictures. <laughs> this is like my favorite part of the burrito. The ends. I swear I could just eat the burrito skin corners. <laughs>
I thought I heard my daughter right now. She's in the room with her cousin. But they're they're talking on um what is it called? Um she's talking on um like the video chatting with her friend or whatever. And I thought I heard her saying, Hey sexy. I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. I really want some water. I put some in the freezer so hopefully it's cold because it's so weird. Juice just does not quench my thirst anymore. I don't think I'm feeling them chips. So I'm so glad I'm 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 so glad and I'm surprised these babies have not woke up. <laughs> like thank God. So I'm done, you guys. <laughs> Lordy, I swear, I get the itis so bad after I eat. Oh, I think I just heard something. I feel like one of the babies got off the sofa. I feel like I hear footsteps. I don't know. I'll go check. But on that note, you guys. <sighs> <laughs> the itis is real. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. And I still have so much to do. I gotta do some homework today. I need to do all of next week's homework because I'm not gonna be able to while I'm in Vegas. Well I can, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wanna stop stuff to do homework. So I'm gonna try and knock it all out today and tomorrow. Oh, and I need to try on my dresses. I need to try them on today. Just so I can know if I if I put it on and I'm just like okay, it'll make me even more excited to go. So we gonna see. <sighs> so on that note, you guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you stayed to the end and you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and comment down below anything you want to say about the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know about the restaurants in Vegas, y'all. I'm serious. Like I need some referrals. I don't know people in real life. So y'all are my only friends right now. So I'm asking from one friend to another, where should we eat? <laughs> and go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and hit your post notifications so you can know when my next video will be uploaded. Bye.